what you're looking at here is a an automated cat feeder that I made nearly um, nearly 12 years ago. It's been running ever since with just one one failure, and uh, I made a video of it back then, 12 years ago, and I think it's maybe time to update it a little bit. So here's a, an overall view of it with the front cover off, and I'll, I'll show you how how it goes back together later. And if you wish to know the circuitry involved, you can take a screenshot of this. This is a schematic I made up. It involves a 4060 CMOS timer. And it counts. It counts to uh, 8,196 counts or so. And then it gives the cats some food based upon a switch that you will see soon. So let's zoom in on some of the parts. The main part of the cat feeder is visible inside here, which is where the food lives. And the food gets funneled down into these two uh, uh, oval shaped chambers here. As you can see, they, they each have a piece of plastic or a piece of wood in there to uh, adjust the amount of food that it will let out at one time. So that's a drum that's underneath. This is a drum right here. And you really can't see it very well unless you get down under. And here it is. It's made up of glued up pieces of oak. So the drum rotates via this 12-volt uh, DC gear motor. And the gear motor is controlled by what's in this box, which contains the circuitry that I showed you a little earlier. We have a switch to select between feeding every five and a half hours or every four hours. The red and green LEDs tell you that it's always that it's counting. There's a push button on the right to uh, give food right now. And this uh, the green wire you see on the right was a, a troubleshooting uh, wire that I added once so I could uh, hook an O-scope onto it and make sure it was counting properly. Over on the left, we have a, a store-bought four-digit counter, which simply keeps track of the number of times that your cat's been fed. That, that, that way you, you know it's been working. If you come by and you see that's a bigger number than it used to be. It's powered by a 12-volt uh, gel cell battery, as well as a 12 volt uh, DC adapter for your wall. So it has a choice of two power supplies. They, the, the battery is always being charged via this little charger that's down here. So it, it'll run in case of a power outage. Okay, let's give you a, a quick overview of how it, how it works. We're gonna just press the button. food will come out of holes on each side. I don't have any food in there right now. It will come out of those holes and drop into a couple of cat bowls that are mounted over on each side. That comes back around to the top and stops. It stops because of a Hall effect sensor, which is under my finger, which senses under my finger, which senses a mag senses a magnet that's on this drum. So it makes one revolution, senses the magnet stops, and counts up another 8,100 and I believe 96 counts, and then it feeds again. So it runs at 1.1 hertz on the four hour setting, 0.83 hertz in the five and a half hour setting. Let's give you another look at this. If you wish to get a screenshot of it. Okay, so now let's put it back together and you can see it a little better.
And if you're curious, you can see what's in the, uh, the, the box that contains this circuit. I'm, it was sort of a work in progress, and I made some changes throughout, so the, the wiring is admittedly not terribly pretty, but it does function. And like I said, it's, it's only failed once in 12 years, and I really don't know what happened. It just stopped feeding. The counter stopped counting. And uh, luckily, uh, we were on vacation at the time, and, and uh, the people that we had helping us out feed the cat, make sure the cats were fed, they noticed it wasn't working, so they took care of it. But it failed at the wrong time. So now everything's working fine. As you can see, the counter went up to one. And let's verify that it counts up to two. So every time the the feeder runs, that'll count up, and you can reset it to zero through that switch. So that should about cover it. Thank you very much.